Hey, sweeties. Today, we are going to find out who's got the best prices at the grocery store. Yes, prices are too doggone high. We're going to see who gives us the better deal. Is it Aldi or is it Walmart? We're going to both and we have our shopping list ready. We're going to see how the prices stack up on all of these items. We're going to head to Aldi first, but you know at Aldi, you have to either bring your own bags or buy one at the store. So we've got our Sweet Savant merch, our tote bags, the Hey Sweeties, and the Have a Delicious Day. That's right. And you can also get t-shirts, sweatshirts, all that good stuff. The link will be in the description. Is there in my Amazon store. Let's go grocery shopping. But first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And now let's head out to Aldi and Walmart and see who's got the best prices for spring 2024. Forgot my coffee. Get your quarters out and let's head into Aldi. You know, you got to get that quarter for your shopping cart, but that's all good. What I do like about Aldi is that the store is compact. Just the essentials you can get in and get out. Let's start with the produce and grab a one pound container of strawberries at Aldi for $1.99. And I think that's a really good price, but we will see when we get over to Walmart how that stacks up. Now, I got a little sidetracked. I did notice these, um, what do you call these, pine berries? Um, these really light pink um, strawberries that, uh, I mean, they look like unripe, unripe strawberries, and I bought some, and that's exactly what they tasted like, unripe strawberries. But anyway, I digress. $1.29 for a two-pound bag of carrots. When planning this project, I tried to pick items that came in fairly standard sizes across the different stores. So usually you can find a two pound bag of carrots in most grocery stores or a one pound bag uh, a container of strawberries. So that's how I chose what I wanted to um, put on this grocery list. Um, let's not get distracted by the snacks, although Aldi does have great snacks that old man clancy's uh chips they're mighty mighty tasty they also have some name brand um items mixed in as well but aldi mostly carries their own brands i would have loved to include paper products like toilet paper and paper towels but it's so hard to figure out the sizing three rolls equals six rolls and all that kind of stuff so we didn't do that now let's go on to all-purpose white flour, $2.29 for a five-pound bag of all-purpose flour, bleached enriched flour. That's your standard size across the stores. And for sugar, a four-pound bag of granulated white sugar for $2.65. And that's shrinkflation in action because remember when sugar used to come in a five-pound bag? Yeah. Now we have a 48 ounce container of vegetable oil for $3.35. Rice is a staple of many household pantries and I wanted to buy brown rice, which is what I usually buy now. I'm switching over from white rice to brown rice, but they didn't have just a plain, say two pound bag of your standard brown rice. They had this organic brown rice and then they had the brown uh, basmati rice now let's move on to ground beef there's lots of variety in the ground beef department do you want 85 15 80 20 um do you want what is this one 96 4 so many different varieties um i really want it in a one pound pack so we can measure exactly um, the same type of product from store to store. So after a bit of looking, I did come across ground beef in the one pound pack that we were looking for. And it's this 
93.7, 93% lean and 7% fat ground beef. This is organic grass-fed ground beef, one pound for $5.99. And now we need a little bit of butter. We will look for the one pound packages of butter. Let's not get distracted by this uh, Kerrygold knockoff for $3.09. Um, we're looking for just your standard one pound unsalted butter. And we find it here for $3.35 for a pound of butter. Now, we also wanted to add to our list uh, milk and eggs, some of this, the very standard things we have here. Um, and I usually get brown eggs, so I wanted to check the price on that. And the price on the brown eggs um, was quite reasonable at $2.58, but I was afraid that they wouldn't have the brown eggs at Walmart, so I decided instead to get um, a dozen white eggs, and that is $2.78 per dozen for the white eggs. And there's really nutritionally no difference between the white eggs and the brown eggs, a very slight difference, if any. Uh, I just like the way the brown eggs look, especially when I'm taking pictures of food, you know. So now we need a half gallon of lactose-free 2% milk, and that is $2.75 at Aldi. I think it's time to head to the checkout. Maybe we'll stop for a bottle of wine before we leave, but let's ring this all up. I did not get the brown rice for the nine items we got. Our total was $26.44 at Aldi. Let's go on to Walmart where we don't need a quarter for our shopping cart. And Walmart is just a different creature. It's a huge store. I mean, you can get anything if you want t-shirts, a bike, uh, tires for your car, <laughs> you can get it at Walmart. But we're here for the list. We've got strawberries coming in for a uh, $2.94 at Walmart for a pound of strawberries, considerably more than what we paid at Aldi. Let's continue through the produce section and grab a bag, a two pound bag of carrots for $1.54. Another plus for Walmart is that there are just more of them, probably about twice as many Walmarts as they are Aldi's. Now for lean ground beef, that 93% lean and 7% fat ground beef is $6.47. So more expensive than Aldi and also not um, organic and grass fed like um, Aldi was. Uh, they also have plenty of different varieties of ground beef if you want. While they do have the plain long grain brown rice for $1.64 for two pounds at Walmart, I decided we're taking the brown rice out of the list because they only have fancy brown rice at um, Aldi. So now on to granulated sugar. We have $3.24 for a four pound bag of granulated white sugar. And for a five pound bag of all purpose bleached white flour, the price is, let's find it, $2.43. And for vegetable oil, a 48 ounce container of vegetable oil, $3.97. I wanted to compare the store brand products at both Walmart and Aldi to try to get a good sense of the uh, lowest prices available. So we're using the Great Value Unsalted Butter, one pound for $3.98. And it was kind of hard to see that, <laughs> that price tag. It's way down there, tucked under, but we got it. And for a dozen large white eggs, $2.00. 78 cents and frankly that was the only price in this whole experiment that was the same at both stores now for our last product at walmart we're getting a half gallon of lactose free milk for three dollars and 38 cents and that brings our grand total at walmart to thirty dollars and 73 cents
sense. Well, sweeties, when you look at the list and the prices side by side between Aldi and Walmart, Aldi has the cheaper prices for this list in every category except for eggs where it tied with Walmart. If you bought this list at Aldi, these nine things, you'd save a total of $4.29. That adds up over time. So the winner today is Aldi. So what did you think about that, sweeties? We shopped at Aldi and we shopped at Walmart on the same day and the stores were less than five miles apart from each other. So same area and the prices were significantly different. A savings of $5 today can add up over time. That was on a very specific short list of products. If I do it again, I might get different results with different products, but these were some pretty standard products that I know I buy frequently and I think a lot of you might buy frequently as well. Walmart does have an advantage having more locations, about 4,700 locations versus about 2,500 locations for Aldi. So you're more likely to have a Walmart in your area than you are to have an Aldi in your area. And for a $5 savings, it's probably not worth the time and the effort to go far out of your way to find an Aldi. But if you have an Aldi in your area, you might want to check them out and save a little bit of money. Then you can spend that money on merch. <laughs> Sweets of On Merch available link is in the description box. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.